Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Draw a triangle ABC and produce one of its side, say BC, such that it forms a ray CD. Now observe the angle ACD. Angle ACD lies in the exterior of triangle ABC and hence we call it exterior angle of the triangle ABC formed at the vertex C. Then angle BCA is called adjacent angle to angle ACD and the remaining two angles that is angle A and angle B are called remote interior angles of angle ACT. Angle A and angle B are called the two interior opposite angles or the two remote interior angles of the angle ACD. Let us now prove a result which says that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. So we have to prove that angle so we have to prove that measure of angle ACD is equal to measure of angle A plus measure of angle B. Let us name angle A as 1 and measure of angle B as 2. So we have to prove that measure of angle ACD is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. For the proof, let us construct CE parallel to BA. So we have BA parallel to CE. Let us mark angle ACE as X and angle ECD as Y. Then we have to prove that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. Angle ACD is equal to angle X plus angle Y. So we have substituted measure of angle ACD equal to angle X plus angle Y. And now we start with our proof. As BA and CE are parallel, then AC is a transversal on it. We know that alternate angles are equal, so angle 1 equal to angle X. Similarly, since BA and CE are parallel, then BD can be considered as a transversal on it and angle 2 is equal to angle Y as they are corresponding angles. Now let us add the two equations. Left hand side becomes angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle X plus angle Y. But we know that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle ACD. Hence we have proved that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Let us read the question. Find angle X in the given figure. 
we know that sum of interior opposite angles is equal to the exterior angle so angle x plus 50 degrees should be equal to 110 degrees let us solve this further we get x equal to 110 minus 50 which is equal to 60 degrees so angle x is equal to 60 degrees